I'm not from this country. I'm Scottish, and I have spent 35, 30, 35 years working in animal genetics at an academic level, trying to work out new strategies to enhance genetics. What that means, like any industry, is time. It's an acceleration of the improvement of the animals. The society, benefit the consumer, benefit the farmer. So to, to paraphrase what Praveen has just said, the move from artificial insemination to embryo transfer technology, embryo-derived pregnancies, allows us to control the genetics in a, in, a, in a manner where we can tailor the genetics to the need of that farmer or that geographical area. We can deploy that today through embryo transfer and the association with the US company Transover Genetics allows us to do that We're using the state-of-the-art technology. Where the future research comes in is where we look to the next development, the next system where we can apply to that, again aiming to accelerate and improve those genetics. Genetics by itself will not solve all the discrepancies. So you've heard already this afternoon that uh, India, although the largest milk producer in the world, has by far the largest cow population. The efficiencies between milk production in an Indian uh, dairy uh, animal versus a US dairy animal is somewhere between one quarter to one tenth, depending on which type of animal it is. If we are able, through the technologies that TAG can deploy, double the amount of milk that India produces, it will address its, its, its uh, challenges to, to provide this as a safe and affordable food. And the new technologies can contribute to that. Going forward from there, the other aspects of the dairy industry which we believe we can contribute to is disease control. And with obviously foot and mouth disease being the number one disease uh, uh, in, in this country. And we're looking at a range of genetic strategies to, uh, to address or at least to mitigate the impact of foot and mouth has on, on, on a cow. And we will look at how to deploy those given the market and the success of those technologies over time. But the core bit of it is accelerating the genetics through the use of embryo transfer and being able to determine which genetics we put into those embryos. Now, the, uh, ability, the reason why that is so successful is that you can tailor those genetics to the nutrition or to the environment that that animal exists in. And trans, uh, transient solutions through trends in, in, in nutrition or changes in nutrition will only go half of the way to that solution. Genetics is the other half, and that's what, trans, that's what we can deliver through tropical animal genetics. The, the last bit I would say is um, one of the reasons why I've joined tropical animal genetics is because of the, the, the appreciation by the people and the government and the systems in India, which I've encountered over the last 10 years, 15 years of visiting this country, to adopt to and to take on the opportunities that new technologies have. Um, these, this, this openness and this willingness to engage in new technologies is not felt all around the world, and India can be a leader in this, this uptake. 